It felt inevitable that Manchester United were going to be linked with a move for Harry Maguire again this summer, and now the inevitable has happened. Following the end of the Nations League, the football transfer window can kick into gear properly, and that has seen the return of the Maguire to Man United rumours coming from multiple sources, including Sky Sports and the BBC. But why would United move for Maguire 12 months after vetoing Mourinho's move for him? What's changed? Where are the stories coming from? Are they reliable? What I'm going to do in this video, as I always do, is run through the full story of these Maguire to United transfer rumours and get to the bottom of it and ask the question, is Maguire the right man to solve United's defensive problems? Now, before we do get into it, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you stick around and get involved. Plenty of videos on here. If you're a regular, make sure you drop a like on the video too. Let's get straight into discussing this one. So first things first, where are the stories coming from? As I mentioned, both Sky Sports and the BBC are reporting that United are in for Maguire and are ready to go head to head and to pay big for the 26 year old who only last year signed a bumper long-term deal with Leicester. So Leicester are in a fantastic position to negotiate, arguably an even stronger position than after the World Cup where Maguire was one of England's standout performers. But what about the price? Now, last year, United were quoted in the region of 70 million and we balked at that figure and we didn't want to go for Maguire. This year, add an extra 10 on top of it. 80 million pounds, more than Liverpool paid for Virgil van Dijk, is what is being reported by Sky Sports News as the figure that Leicester would want if they're going to sell Maguire this summer. What do you think about that price? Because if you think about it, 10 years ago in 2009, Real Madrid signed Ronaldo from United for 80 million. Could 10 years later we sign Maguire for Leicester for the same price? I'm not sure, if I'm honest, that Maguire would be worth more than 55, 60. And even that's at a push. And that's because of the premium of him being at a Premier League club, him being English, all those extra add-ons that come with those players, like Wan-Bissaka. But 80 million? That seems like a hell of a lot. And especially when you consider only 12 months earlier, let's not forget what happened with Jose Mourinho and with Man United, because Mourinho wanted Maguire, but United vetoed his move for Maguire for two reasons. Number one, the price. They felt, well, Ed Woodward felt, that 70 million for Maguire was simply too much money. And secondly, Woodward felt that Maguire wouldn't be a significant enough upgrade on the current options that United had at the time, and that's why the move didn't happen. That was the breakdown in their relationship. But why would United Complete a U-turn on Maguire. 12 months after vetoing a move under Mourinho, why would they sanction a move for Solskjaer? I mean, the first reason could potentially be that it was never really about Maguire. It was just about not backing Mourinho because the club had fallen out of trust with him and didn't want to back him in another summer transfer window after backing him in the first two. If that was the case, surely he would have been sacked that summer. Maybe not. A second reason could be the fact that United would put their hand up and say, you know what? We made a mistake. We should have backed Mourinho to get Maguire. He was the right man for us. He's the right man now. Let's pay it, swallow our pride, and accept that we made a mistake last year not moving for Maguire. And the third reason could simply be desperation, because United were heavily linked with Matthias de Ligt. Looks like he's going to Barcelona or PSG. We always knew it was unlikely he was coming to United, but it's the hope that kills you. And maybe United simply won't sanction a move for Kalidou Koulibaly, who would cost twice as much, probably, as Harry Maguire. Maybe it's a lack of other options, and maybe Maguire has never been the first option on United and Solskjaer's wish list, but desperation has led us towards him. There's three reasons. Let me know what you think about that, but it's a significant U-turn if United, only 12 months after vetoing Mourinho, decide that Solskjaer can have the player that Mourinho wanted. It goes to show how poorly run our club is and how the decisions just change on a whim. Massively shows that. But I'm a bit confused as to how that could really happen, even if Maguire is the right man. And maybe it's just accepting a mistake and I'm looking at it the wrong way. But let me know what you think about that in the comments. Hey, it looks like United are back in the running for Harry Maguire. Now, do you think he is the right man for United? The Telegraph's Jason Burt has had a few things to say about that, and I would have run through what he's had to say. 
They don't have to sell. He did sign a long-term contract earlier this, uh, uh, last year. Um, what surprised me a little bit about the Manchester United interest in particular is obviously one of the reasons why they didn't really push out the boat in the end for Harry Maguire last summer was the asking price. The asking price is only going to go up. Um, and another reason why they didn't do it was because they didn't feel he was better than what they'd got. Um, so obviously that's changed as well. I don't think he's so much better this season than he was last season. So it question, questions really some of the judgments at Manchester United in terms of the players they're after. I think the interest from City more to do with the fact that he's quite, you know, it's a very good sort of ball playing central defender. Maybe Pep Guardiola sees he can mould him as something else. I, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm totally honest, I'm not quite sure he's the answer for either of those two teams. The first point there from Jason focusing on the price of Maguire. Leicester don't need to sell. Look good in that second half of the season under Brendan Rodgers. Had a good team they've got together and they've got Maguire tied down to a long-term contract. They've got all the cards and especially if United and City go after him. That means they're in the perfect position to negotiate a massive price. I do, as I said, find it strange that United would be willing to spend more this summer than we were last year when... Maguire's stock was arguably higher after the World Cup. But it's needs must this summer for United. Jose Mourinho was backed in his first two transfer windows with big money. Solskjaer will be backed as well. And maybe it's just a, a circumstance thing. Maybe it's the fact that it's Solskjaer's first window. He will get backed a little bit more with these sorts of players over Mourinho in his third window. But it's certainly something to think about. Where's that U-turn coming from? and What's justifying it? Let me know what you think. And then looking at the second point, it's the idea that maybe United are in a better position this summer than we were last year. Because if we vetoed a move for Maguire last year, we're arguably in a stronger position this summer. Because Lindelof had a fantastic season of growth, much better defender than he was last year. You've got Axel Twanzebe who could come back into the four after a fantastic promotion winning season with Aston Villa in the championship. Maybe he can bolster the squad. Phil Jones, Chris Smalling, Marcus Rojo, you're all still the same. Eric Bai, probably worse. They haven't improved, but certain players have. So again, if the justification last year was the fact that Maguire wouldn't improve our defensive options, I'd argue the centre-back options are probably certain ones. Lindelof and the idea that we've got Tuan Zebe coming back are actually better off this summer than last year. So again, question marks over why that would be the justification for going after Maguire this summer instead of last one. But maybe it's what the league has seen happen with Liverpool and Virgil van Dijk and spending big on a defensive leader and how it can transform a team which looked lukewarm in defence previously into an absolute unit. Now, obviously, adding Alisson into that and their full-backs that went into form all helped. But van Dijk was a leader at the back and United desperately need that leader. Will it be Harry Maguire? We all hoped it would be Matthias de Ligt. It's not going to be. I kind of wanted it to be Kaladu Koulibaly. It doesn't look like it's going to be him either. Certainly not for the price anyway. And certainly not if United are balking at 80 million for Maguire. Could it have been Toby Aldebarold? I've already said that I predicted him to be our centre-back for next year. And maybe United will get priced out of a move for Maguire. But the real question is, is Maguire the answer to United's problems in defence? Will he become our defensive leader if we signed him? If we're waving a magic wand, then no. Mateus De Ligt would have been that option. And second choice for me, Kaladu Koulibaly. But if we can't get De Ligt and we can't get Koulibaly, then Maguire, let's be honest here, he's a massive upgrade on the centre-backs that we've got at the moment. 26, Premier League proven, comfortable with the ball at his feet. That's a crucial thing for implementing this style of play that Solskjaer wants. Commanding, powerful, strong. Maguire has a lot to his game. Yes, he's not as sexy as Delic would be or maybe as, as commanding as Koulibaly would be, but Maguire's a big upgrade on every centre-back that United have and he certainly would improve our squad. Would he improve it for the tune of 80 million? I very much doubt it. But it's just the, I, I find it hard to sort of justify and get angry at a, a player's price anymore because I've got no idea what it means. I mean, 10 years, it was Ronaldo to Maguire being 80 million. Where's it going to be in another 10 years' time? I don't really know. And the idea of getting true value for a, for a player, I don't want United to get mugged off in the transfer market, but deep down, I don't care how much United pay for a player. As long as the wage structure doesn't cause a problem, which it did with Sanchez, and the player's the right fit for the club, then I'm all for United spending all the money, just like other clubs have done. 
It's the way that football goes. If you want to win the Premier League, you've got to spend big. Whether Maguire is worth 80 million, I don't know. But I want to know from you in the comments. Do you, do you think that Maguire could become our defensive leader? Could he solve our problems? Or should United be looking elsewhere for Alderweire or the cheaper option so we can spend bigger on Wan-Bissaka or Koulibaly, try and go all out for him from Napoli? Let me know what you think. 80 million is a lot for Maguire. But it seems like United are back in for him only 12 months after vetoing Mourinho's move for him last summer. Let me know what you think about that whole debacle in the comments below, as always. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time, though, take it easy.